Hey, and welcome back to the Happy Truckers channel. My name is Mike, and today I am going to update the navigation on my Forerunner. When you can't travel out of the country, then you're gonna travel in the country. So we have GPS navigation. Now I have that on my phone, which is primarily what I have used for the last, I don't even know how many years, many years, as long as I've had Google on a phone, so it's been a lot of years, but I recently got a, a Forerunner. It's a 2017, so it's a, a few years old, but it has built-in navigation. It's not my favorite system of all time. I like kind of having it built into the, uh, the entertainment system. The problem is it's a 2017 Forerunner, which means the data, therefore the navigation and the maps, are based on 2016. Well, it's 2021, so I am using five-year outdated uh, information. For the most part, it works fine. However, we have been places where it did not work. So uh, we thought, well, let's go ahead and upgrade it. But the uh, Toyota system, or the Toyota manual, I should say, makes it sound like upgrading it yourself is going to just blow up the entire system. You're not going to break it that badly. Um, and to make it even more simple, it's an SD card, a mini or a micro SD card. Keep in mind, the manual is obviously going to try to push you to go to the dealer, and the dealer is going to charge you $300, whatever, between labor and the part. It's expensive. For like $45, I, uh, on Amazon, I got a new card. But inside, I have an envelope, small. Okay, so this is just a basic card that tells me what uh, models this uh, card, the uh, the SD card is compatible with either the Forerunner, but if you have a Forerunner, Avalon, Camry, Corolla, Highlander, Prius, RAV4, Sequoia, you got it. If you have any number you can maybe see, uh, there's a lot of them. So it's all the same entertainment system, so one should work across the board. I also have what appears to be instructions that are six steps long. The main uh, ingredient is the uh, SD card. There you go. Okay, you can focus now. So that's just a, a standard uh, micro SD card. I'm going to put it on the computer actually and see what's on here. I'm curious as to what type of file it uses. So uh, let me do that next. Okay, so the first thing I did when I put this card in is uh, my security system which is just a basic system, started to scan the file. It asked me if I wanted to scan it, and I thought, well, that's actually a good idea. I, I don't know why that didn't occur to me, but it is a folder, I mean, it is a uh, disk with files that I got off the internet. So, uh, yeah, it's probably a pretty good idea that we scan it first uh, before we get too far, uh, before I start monkeying around with it, because, uh, yeah, I don't want to introduce some sort of virus that I wasn't prepared for. So, uh, and there's a lot of files that is being scanned right now. I mean, I'm at 2300 right now and uh, it's still going so uh, that's a little surprising I wasn't expecting that many files but I don't know again I haven't looked at the file structure yet to see what is in there and the types of files so uh, I'm gonna let this run and we'll see where we end up okay so basically you want to take this spot right here this is where the card goes and you're gonna pop that open Okay, oh, okay. So it kind of spins and that flips over. So uh, there's the card, the existing card. Pull that one out. You see it's very tiny. And I put the new one in. Should be as simple as pushing it. And I'm leave that for the time being. I am going to turn the car on. You can see there's my wife and I. You saw what I said, loading map. Okay, so I had to look for it. I couldn't remember where it was exactly. So it's on the navigation screen. So you click navigation and it's under options and then map data. And you can see now I have a 2020, which I expected. I bought the card uh, with 2020 data. Um, even though today is 2021, that's okay. 
again, I only had 2016 data on there, and now I've got uh, an additional five years, or four years, I should say. So I, I can live with that. That's better and very simple to do. So hope that helped. Hope that helps you update your own navigation. Now maybe you won't get lost when you're uh, traveling throughout the uh, United States. Hey, thanks for watching. I really hope you liked that video. Let me know what you thought about it. Do you ever update your navigation system? What'd you find? Any goods? Any bads? Let me know. In the meantime, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. And make sure you also ring the bell so you're notified every time we upload a new video. So until we talk again, keep on trekking.